Hey everybody, welcome back to Dinner and a Tip. So this is video number three, if you're following along for our Saturday night dinner. Um, we already did the Jamaican chicken, uh, jerk chicken quesadillas. I did that mango salsa on the Blackstone. And now it is time for the ice cream. So I'm gonna do one cup of heavy cream to get started. And we're gonna cook this kind of on a medium to low. And then, so lavender comes in, there's a cooking lavender and then there's a, a lavender that like the smelly good stuff that you put in a drawer or your potpourri. Make sure, I got this off of Amazon. So make sure you're getting cooking lavender because there definitely is a difference between the two. And so I've got probably four tablespoons of lavender and it doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here and we're going to cook this on low. And basically we're trying to infuse that lavender into our, our ice cream. I'm also going to do one fourth cup of honey. And then I'm also going to do a little bit of, uh, sweetened condensed milk for this one. So this is ice cream, but it's kind of an ice cream custard mix because we're gonna do some egg yolks in, in this one as well. So we're just gonna give this a little bit of a stir. And the longer you can keep this on the heat or even kind of get it to a medium heat and then just kind of take it off and kind of walk away, the more you do that, the more the lavender is actually going to go ahead and cook into this. I'm going to do about a half a cup of the sweetened condensed milk. And then I'm going to let this kind of cook together. And then what we're going to do, and then, oh, the blueberries. So to get that blueberry or that like purple color, I'm going to go ahead and put about a half a cup of blueberries into this and let these blueberries cook and simmer. And that's where we're going to get that nice purplish blue color because if you don't do that you could do some dye into it but I like to avoid doing any kind of dyes when I can so we're going to go ahead and finish up with some heavy cream so I've got one cup of heavy cream in there and I'm going to do another cup of heavy cream in here so this is definitely a do-ahead recipe because you want this to get warm. You want the sugars to kind of melt that are in there. And then you're going to pre put it in the refrigerator because if you put this hot stuff into your ice cream maker, it is going to go ahead and it'll melt the ice that's in the ice machine. And so you're not going to get that nice, smooth, creamy uh, texture of the ice cream. So and to me, lavender and lemon go super well together. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of lemon in this too. Probably just a half lemon. Just to give it a little extra flavor. All right. So we're going to, I've got this on kind of a low temperature. And then you don't have to worry about the lavender in here because when we do this, we're going to um, strain the lavender out. I know some people cook with lavender and leave it in there. And to me, I don't like the chunks of lavender. It's up to you, but I prefer to do it this way. So, and now that these blueberries are starting to warm up, I'm going to go ahead and give them a smash so that it releases that purple color that I'm looking for. And I'm not getting as much purple color. So I'm going to go ahead and probably throw just another couple of handfuls in. It just depends on how much of the blueberry flavor that you're looking for. And it's gonna, not going to be like super dark. I don't know if you can kind of see this. It's turning like a light purple right now. And I'm just going to keep mashing these berries up so we get that color that we want. So next I'm going to do uh, about a tablespoon of vanilla and almond. Oh, that was quite the splash right actually in my eye so we're gonna keep going sometimes there's a little pain in cooking people and it's all right so we're gonna go ahead and mix this and then we're gonna probably let this simmer i'm gonna at least wait a couple minutes on this um 
And I see now that these blueberries are cooking, we're actually getting a better color on it. And I'm going to go ahead and strain the blueberry chunks out of this. Um, that's up to you if you want to throw in some extra blueberries into it. It's whatever you want to do today. Next up I have is I have two egg yolks. This is going to, what makes it more of a custard than the ice cream. All right, let's take this off the heat. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab our strainer and we're going to strain a little bit of the hot mixture in here. Just a little bit. And then we can just go ahead and mix this eggs. You want to make sure you're not putting too much in and you want to make sure you're mixing right away. Because what happens if you have really hot liquid and you mix it in with your eggs you're going to actually scramble them and nobody wants scrambled eggs in their mix. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of the cold. And actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to strain it into the cold and then we'll go ahead and add the eggs into this. But basically what you're doing is tempering the eggs. And so I'm going to go ahead and just smush this so I'm getting all the blueberries out. Again, that's how we're going to get our beautiful lavender looking color. And this way you're not getting any big lavender chunks into your ice cream. Give that a stir. It's definitely purple. I would probably maybe do more berries if you want more of that purple color but I'm still going to have the flavor that I want from the lavender. The lavender when you cook it really isn't going to mix all the way. You're not going to get that blue color so we'll go ahead and give this a mix and then what we're going to do is we're going to stick this in the refrigerator at least for a little while. I want to make sure that it gets cooled off. Um, I'm going to go probably an hour in the refrigerator and I might probably do like a half an hour right before I could throw it in the mixer just to throw it in the freezer but let's just give it a taste to make sure it's the flavors that I'm looking for ahead of time. Ooh, that is going to be some awesome ice cream so we're going to go ahead and put this in we'll come back and go ahead and mix it in our mixer and give it a test later thanks. All right, we're going to do a little modification. So I tasted it, and it's good. I like it, but I actually like my ice cream to be a little sweeter. So we're just going to add a little extra heavy cream. And I did a third cup of what a, a third cup of sugar. I'm sorry. So I'm not going to just put the sugar straight in there. I want to go ahead and melt the sugar in the cream. And when I do the directions online, I will make sure that I make this correction. But if you don't like your ice cream super sweet, it, it has some sweetness to it. But I'm just looking for a little bit more sweetness with mine today. So when you're mixing in the honey and the condensed milk, I would go ahead and mix the sugar in all at the same time. That way you don't want the sugar... If you don't melt it into the heavy cream, it's going to have more of a, like a crunchier, grainier taste, which is not what I'm actually looking for with my ice cream. I like to have it a lot more smooth. So, And it doesn't take long for this to go ahead and melt in there. So, And I don't see any sugar crystals, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw this in. And basically, whatever your ice cream tastes like, at this stage is what it's going to taste like when you eat it. So I always want to make sure I'm testing and tasting as I'm going. So let's just go ahead and give it a quick taste to make sure this is what I'm looking for now. Yep, that's what I'm looking for. Definitely sweeter. So we'll come back shortly. See ya. All right, guys, so I actually ended up putting this in the freezer for about an hour and a half just because our guests are coming sooner than later. So make sure if you're doing the Cuisinart that this is frozen, that you want to do this at least 24 hours in advance. 
I like to put everything in there and get it locked and turned on before I even start pouring our ice cream in. And I did go ahead and pre-taste this to make sure it's exactly what I was hoping for, and it definitely is. So we're going to go ahead and get everything poured in here. We're going to let this run probably about 10 minutes. And then we're going to be, I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the container, let it put in the freezer. You can eat it right away out of here, but it melts super, super quick. In the perfect world, I would have done this the night before. So it's going to be a little melty, a little faster than usual. But if you make it ahead of time a night before, is probably the best. So I'm going to go ahead and let this run for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then I will show you the finished product. All right, we are back. And our ice cream is done. So it's been about 15, 20 minutes. It's thick, um, but it's definitely not to the thickness of what I would like for the ice cream. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in our container and throw this back in the freezer. But you know what? Just for fun, let's go ahead and try it. So basically, once I put it in the freezer, it's just going to set up stronger like a normal ice cream. Right now, it's a little on the runnier side, but... That's just because it hasn't had time to fully set all the way, but. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so good. I know it's lavender. It's not everybody's favorite thing, but to me, this, I feel more of the blueberries and the lavender, and it's not an overpowering ice cream. It's just a really nice, light summer ice cream. Thanks for joining me. Eat happy, and we'll see you next time.